Hey friends, how you guys doing? So today, I'm going to show you not an amp and not how it sounds, but how I decorate my amps. My little secret. Um, this is probably one of the most anticipated reviews of what you guys have asked me, and I've politely declined it for a while because I just uh, wanted to keep it a secret. <laughs> um, but I uh, decided to not be so selfish and share it with you guys since you guys have been begging me and now that I've hit as many subscribers as, a, as I have now, um, I figured uh, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do what you guys ask. So uh, as a thank you for sharing my page. Um, but yes. This is what I've been doing with my amps. Um, I decorate them and put whatever color and light I want. And let's see if I can get there. I love red. Um, but yes, the secret is LEDs. And I'm going to show you exactly what I buy. And let's get started. All right. So to start this, we need to get LEDs. Where does Eric Shreds get his LEDs at? I get them off Amazon. <laughs> Very simple. Um, they're about $25 um, and I think it's 25 feet of LED and this is what my packaging looks like. I've bought probably 10 packs of these. I just stick with the same exact Amazon thing I buy just because I know they all work within each other. So I know Chinese stuff can get weird sometimes. So what's in the bag? You got your power. You got your LEDs which I will go over in a second. You got your remote, which I will go over. And your power supply, or your little brain, not the power supply. Um, but all you do is, we can see right here, is we plug this up. You plug that into that, and You just plug these little things right into each other. That's pretty common sense. And you aim it at this little tiny thing right here. And kaboom, LEDs. This is what it is. And we're gonna be on red because that's my favorite color. And you can make them brighter. So, how I do this. Let's see. Go back to up here. So you have a whole entire roll of this. Actually, let me, let me dim it down some so it doesn't super shine. You have an entire roll of these LEDs, right? And you don't want to use all of them. So let me see if I can, I might have to turn them off. So with these LEDs, actually, you can cut them. Do you see where the copper meets in the little black line? You cut right at the black line. The only ones you cannot cut are the ones that are soldered together. So you have like three or so, or no, not three. You have basically until here, until here. And that can be one strip. And uh, because there's always every, every what, foot, every two feet or so, there is the metal wire. So you just have to cut on the copper, easy as that. So you basically cut to what size you need. Um, obviously, I would wait before doing that and making sure that you want the exact length in your amp and how much if you want it going on the sides. Um, these amps, I literally just have them on the top. Actually, with my camera angle, you can see they are on top. And this is what else you need. Um, so these do come with this nice adhesive, or actually lack of, um, it's an adhesive sticking and it's pretty sticky and that's cool but it's not good, um, especially when it's around hot uh, surfaces. And if you're putting it on a tube amp, you're basically gonna peel this, put it on the amp, and it's gonna come off. So I tried hot glue. And hot glue is just, it's the smartest move because if you ever decide to sell the amp and you wanna keep your LEDs, or if you wanna sell the amp and they don't want LEDs in it, Easy glue, or not easy glue, hot glue can peel off without leaving any residue or anything. Do not, and I repeat, do not ever use super glue. You are crazy, and you are basically making the amp worth less by destroying it with basically cement that you cannot get off the amp. Do not do that. Um, I use this one. Uh, make sure you get a pink one because that's the only way how it'll work. <laughs> I'm stupid. Um, uh, the other things that I've bought too is I've bought other little adapters 
Um, these are the little pins in between the LED connectors. Um, you can buy them separately. See, like that one needs some. And you can buy other kinds of stuff. This is like a long cable so I can go across stage with it. And I don't have everything. These are other connectors. You can see on online on Amazon, they have a bunch of different style uh, kind of connectors um, that they have for these. So it's pretty easy and pretty simple, uh, self-explanatory. Um, but yeah, so you cut it to shape and you basically, I leave it at like a low volume or low volume. <laughs> I leave it at a low light. And with a PV6505, what you're going to have to do, um, because I know a lot of you people ask me with the 6505, that's why I'm showing you. Um, you have to take apart the panel in front, um, the black panel, and it's pretty easy. You just take apart the amp and you'll see a bunch of screws. You take out the screws, you pop off the, the uh, black background, and then you can pop off the logos. The logos are actually just glued on there. So if you just gently pull them off, you can re-glue them later. And I like gluing them on that front because I think having them behind the grill is kind of dumb. I don't know, I never really liked that idea. So obviously you can see I put uh, like my own, the 6505, since it's like the flagship of all metal amps, I made it pirate themed. I got Pirates of the Caribbean's coin and a pirate gun. And this one's more modern, so I have a, a more modern pistol. And I got my, uh, my, uh, uh, sister's uh, fiance's uh, uh, skate company metal if you can see that right there you can totally check that out if you skate and then I have uh, America uh, like a skate patch on it anyways that's totally getting off topic of what we're doing <laughs> but it's cool um, so this is my metal amp that's modern metal and so all you're gonna do is just take what you need and make sure you have the end that connects to the brain and you would connect it to the back of the amp and then you would cut to size and do that and not have the power fall out. Um, just make sure you have enough length for it to go in the back and I will show you what the back looks like on my 6505. So the reason why I love the 6505 the most for doing LEDs because it's super easy. That's why a lot of people have done it. but. Um, so these are the brains on the back of them, and I actually have somewhere where I put um, uh, like a Velcro on the back. So you can put Velcro and put it right here, and this is the part that triggers the entire thing. So what I do is I just stick it in this little uh, egg comb or whatever, and as long as you can point your remote through it through the front, it will click. So it's pretty cool. You can actually stick it all the way through too. Um, and then you just put it like right there. And then you have your, this is the only negative about my LEDs is you do have an, uh, a different plug box. Um, but other than that, that is actually pretty, pretty easy. And I've played shows with them and people really seem to like it. It's very different. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's very. I'm very happy with it, but um, I'm trying to think what else I what else I do. It's it's pretty easy stuff. I don't. I, I spend a, I do spend a few hours doing this. I make sure that the LEDs are glued properly, and I try to not do such a messy job. So um, there are like connectors and splitters, so you can actually do multiple LED lights together. Um, these I just have two different ones because if I wanted to I can change the colors and say if I want this one to be green and this one to be red if I can get it pointing sometimes they're not as accurate as you can see but when they do work it's cool um, now the pros and the cons about these cool is their LEDs so they don't take up that much energy and they're not that hot um, the only time I've ever noticed them get hot is if you leave this on full and just leave it in here. It will get super hot and like melt this stuff. Um, the negatives about these is I've actually ordered a few where this power supply has not worked. Sorry if I'm staring at the screen and making sure that I fit. Um, this power supply sometimes has not worked or it fried or this brain. This is the most fragile part in the entire LED kit. Do not 
drop this. <laughs> if you drop it, most likely won't work. Um, it's just really confusing. And um, they have a bunch of ones you can buy offline, and they are all pretty much the same stuff. The LEDs, though, are super durable. Um, like, you can bend them whichever way. And they're waterproof, actually, too, which is even better. Um, not that I put my amps in water, but... The cool thing, though, I will say, let's see if I can put that right there and explain this remote. Now I need to see where my camera is at. So this remote you have on. This is like play and pause. This is the bright and uh, dim switches. You have white and all of these other colors. And let me aim it. So like red, green. Sometimes you're going to order them and the colors will be mismatched, which is OK. Um, and then you have cool features like uh, this jump mode, uh, jump and jump seven. Jump is three colors, jump is uh, seven. And you have the quick, you can make it go fast and give people, what's that called, uh, seizures. And um, you also have fade, which you can make it go really fast. And to slow it down, you just hold down slow and aim it towards it. And then the cool features, my favorite features, is you have the customization and you have six customizations you can do and basically you just hit a customization choose what color you want by holding down these colors it will take a while and you will see that these will slowly start turn, turning uh, purple because I'm taking the green out of them and then if I turn down the blue see what else happens sometimes it looks like it's not working and it's pretty funny um, let's see yeah see now they're gonna go like more of a pink and eventually I think they're gonna go red but it does take a while for them to do this and um, it's kind of frustrating but seeing there's red and then to save it basically you just click another preset one and then you can go back to it there you go um, but yeah cool stuff and then these take uh, these little tiny uh, like batteries that the snark tuners take but that's pretty much it. Um, my video is not super informed, but that's half the reason why I didn't want to do this video is because I didn't know how to do this professionally. Um, how do I show you, you know? And um, that's really it. Um, if there's any other questions you guys have on these amps, on doing LEDs, let me know. Um, Apparently, people have said in my comments that I am the LED king on YouTube uh, or custom light king, and I love decorating my amps. And um, I'm going to show you here quick. Uh, I'm going to show you other amps that I have, and um, you can subscribe to my channel, and you can subscribe to my uh, Instagram. You just type in Eric Shreds. This is my album, and if you want to see what these lights look like on stage, add my band on Facebook. Um, you can even add us on Tumblr. We have these photos of full LED sets, and it's pretty freaking sick, and I'm really happy um, with how these have kind of become who I am, some cheap Chinese product. Um, but yeah, 25 bucks on Amazon, and sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. Most of the time they work, so... It's only 25 bucks take the risk <laughs> but yeah give me a thumbs up if you're glad that i finally did this video and yeah see ya also check out my band on youtube we got them videos up lies behind your eyes peace all right so this is my bad cat cougar 50 and i have a uh, zombie modified it and I'm very happy with this one because it looks like the zombies are at like the wall and they're jumping over. Um, I used to play zombie video games all the time and I customized the back and made it into the front and I'm very happy with it. And whenever I got this used it actually had cracks in it but honestly it makes it look cooler because with the zombies breaking through the wall it doesn't look as perfect now. It's pretty badass I think and I can change the colors and see what other colors this is some of my custom colors I have some of the darker ones but um let's see let's get some orange up in here but uh yeah so these are uh is a pretty cool one I really liked uh I'm really happy about um uh, it sounds badass but yeah so and then these are just uh finger puppets actually um I don't know if you can see we got a guy with his brains out, and it's just really cool. I like decorating, as you can tell. Awesome. 
All right, so this is my Huden Kettner Triamp, and kaboom, definitely awesome. My favorite one out of my creations that I've done. Um, but uh, my older one was uh, I had it just going around the edge, and it lit up the letters and the uh, the uh, insides here. But this one actually I outdid my uh, last one and I put them just in the back and this one I left the original blue light on so whenever I turn them on I actually have switches I can turn on and put one LED blue and one LED blue whenever I want and I can change the colors and then these letters remain blue which you will eventually see them in some of my other videos I'm not plugging it up right now but it's pretty cool and I'm very happy with it and some of my custom colors oh I haven't done this one yet but um yeah, it's very cool. My favorite one is blue because it makes these guys, these little Lego dudes, shine up. And uh, yeah, a lot of people will be like, why the hell you put Legos in your amp? I'm like, because I want to. <laughs> but you can see, I put them all on the top. And they are not perfect. And uh, as a warning, you will come across some peeling. Um, whenever these start heating up, you will have to go back and make sure that they are hot glued correctly. Um, this amp gets ultra hot because Hewden Kettner has the back panel metal and the only air vent is up here. So it get, definitely gets hot and I've been uh, gluing them uh, for a long, long time. <laughs> and they finally decided to stick, so very cool. But that's my Hewden Kettner. Another amp that is tends to be the fan favorite is my uh, Bogner. Uh, I call it the Bogner Death Star because it is Star Wars themed. So if you want to see that amp, it's actually at my studio right now. Um, so you're going to have to add my Instagram to see it. So Eric Treads, bye.